can you share roadmap to learn Swift all in all? Oh, those roadmap few questions, you know. I posted not so long ago and I pinned that post and basically there is you don't need roadmap to become iOS developer. Most like most uh, <laughs> sure, that's kind of nice to to know kind of uh, I don't know what learn next after Swift, but basically often it happens so that those who are asking for roadmaps didn't start to learn anything. Uh, basically pick whatever tutorial you like. I am recommending here a few of them, you know. Sean Allen, I like those courses. Uh, 100 days of Swift, also amazing. You don't really need roadmap to start. So quite often that Quite often that question is just asked, that is a way of procrastination. If you're really looking for a roadmap, again, another thing with roadmaps is you don't really need to know the kind of full roadmap, how to, how to become from beginner to the senior developer just to start learning. You basically need to take one of those courses, learn some basics then understand basically what you want to do next next if you want to build your own applications start to build your applications and google you you know kind of uh, how to solve problems and so on so i don't know if you if you will ask like that so what you should learn first okay swift then kind of swift ua basics then maybe map kit then core data or swift data currently then cloud kit you know for backend and so on and so on but basically if you want to build application which will not use MapKit. Why are you using it? If you will get work in the company which are which is not using MapKit again, why do you need it? So you will forget it anyways. So eh, it doesn't make sense to kind of learn uh, all two, three programming languages ju just to know everything. You will forget all of that anyways. So do not do that. 